In April 2000, Russian diver Yuri Lipsky strapped on an air tank and a helmet camera. He loaded his belt with weights and plunged into the blue hole. He never resurfaced. Yuri was diving at a place called the Blue Hole in Dahab, Egypt. It's a natural sinkhole, but it's unique in the fact that it connects to the open sea through a natural arch. It's notorious for killing inexperienced divers that try to swim through the arch and either can't find it, underestimate its depth and run out of gas, or get nitrogen narcosis from the wrong mixture and eventually drown. He did not die trying to find the arch, and you can read about the countless arch deaths elsewhere. He most likely was doing a bounce dive to the bottom, which is where you just plummet to the bottom and come up immediately. Usually this is done to break a personal depth record. It's incredibly foolish and dangerous. You can see him show his dive computer to the camera multiple times, so it's probably to verify to people that he actually hit the bottom. He made a few fatal mistakes while diving, one of which was that he was diving with a single tank of air. This is a major contributing factor to his death. At 90 meters down, he only had one tenth of the gas in that tank available because of the pressure. He was also using air, which is 78% nitrogen. At depths below 100 feet, nitrogen becomes intoxicating. This is called nitrogen narcosis. It was also discovered that he was overweight with heavy camera equipment. Lipsky died at just over 300 feet underwater. At this depth, the body is subject to nitrogen narcosis, which can play havoc on the mind by inducing overconfidence, euphoria, hallucinations, confusion, and impaired judgment. Lipsky's body was recovered the following day by Tarek Omar one of the world's foremost deep water divers at the quest of Lipsky's mother. On the bottom, Omar made an unnerving discovery. The doomed diver had recorded his own death. Omar said in an interview, two days after recovered his remains and gave his mother his belongings and equipment, she came to me asking that I help her disassemble them so she can pack them. The camera should have been damaged or even broken altogether because I had found it at a depth of 115 meters, and it is only designed to sustain 75 meters. But to my surprise, the camera was still working. We played it and his mother was there. I regret that his mother will have this forever. If I had known the footage existed, I'd have flooded it. I think the thing that really upset and saddened me about it was that his mum has it now. She has the footage of her own son's drowning.